Hello and welcome again. It is Dave Draco031978 once again here with one of his fantastic Transformer reviews. First, I would like to apologize to any of my viewers out there who uh, was looking forward to a review yesterday. Uh, life was busy, but here today, Sunday. Uh, so let's see. Uh, last Wednesday was my last review, and I did a review on the Gen 1 Omega Supreme that I got. Very excited about that. So I decided to keep it going with the Omega Supreme series. So today, another review on Omega Supreme. But not the Omega Supreme that we already did. No. A whole new Omega Supreme. The Omega Supreme from the Energon series. So, Omega Supreme, Lost Guardian, who defeated Unicron ages and eons ago, resummoned back to help Optimus Prime and his band of Autobots vanquish evil across the galaxy. So, I give you Omega Supreme from Energon, and I give you Omega Supreme from Energon. Yes, Omega Supreme, two, count him, two vehicles in one. Or, if you really want to be twisted, uh, there we go, this way. These can link like so to make a very long battle fortress of doom. So, Omega Supreme is composed of two vehicles. First is the, what I would consider a massive construction vehicle. It's got the claws right here, and then of course it's got the hand that, uh, uh, you pull this back here, and it's got the hand that does nothing. Fantastic. Let's try that again, shall we? There you go. The hand that shoots out. And then the big grabber there. So that is his one arm. There you go. There it goes. And then, of course, the other one is a space, kind of like a battleship kind of thing. You know, it's pretty much for space. There's its jets there. It kind of looks like a ship. Very cool features. It's got a little twisting thing here. And it shoots. Which I think is lovely. I love it when they have like little sound effects and stuff like that. So there's that. And then there's a button on the side here, you push it, the front flashes, and you get lasers. So that is very cool. So, let us transform this bad boy here. So we're going to pan down, as we often do. There he is, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Pay no attention to the tail here. Again, this is Queenie, my big cat of doom. Get your carcass out of there. Queenie. All right, I apologize, folks. My cat is just a beast. There she is. Let's say hi to Queenie real quick. Say hi. Oh, there's a cat. Okay, now we get rid of her because she's just in the way. Okay. So first things first, we take this little piece out of here. Uh, now this guy, which I love, is actually a headmaster. And he is, this is eventually going to be the head. I call this little dude Omega. This little mini Omega. Nothing too fancy. Just little mini Omega. So we're going to put mini Omega down here for right now while we do this. There he is. Okay. So first, we'll start transforming. So the nice thing about this is that it's actually two halves, two halves of his form. So this is going to be the one side, and we'll just kind of raise the camera up slightly there so we can see everything. There we go. Ah, there we go. Okay. So here's the first half. So put, twist, voila. This comes up like this, and shabam. There you go. Not very difficult. Not entirely difficult at all. Now this half, a little bit more complicated, but not by much. Put that down, put those there. This lifts up like so. Yeah, spin it around, stick the guns up, plant it in there, twist. We have foot out, down, twist, bada boom. So this comes down, and there you go, another foot. And then there's this little piece in here, plant that down, there you go. So there you go. You take the two halves, and as a meeting of the minds, you slap them together like so, and bada boom. There is the mighty body of Omega Supreme. And then you take the little head dude here, put his arms together like this, you flip the legs over like so, you lift up the visor, and there's the head. Head comes on, and there you have it. There we go. There it is. Omega Supreme from Energon. A very powerful robot, if ever there was one. Now, he does have two alternate modes for each half. They each half can actually form like a battle platform kind of thing, where they kind of fold and they look like a gun emplacement. But 
to me, I think that's just lazy transforming right there. I mean, it's just pretty much bending his body in weird ways. So I never was a big fan of the gun emplacements, but as a robot in a vehicle, he is perfect. Uh, but you got the gun. The great sound effects there. Again, this still works. Um, there he goes. Oh, oh, work. oh there it is. So there you go. Lasers there. Um, these spin together. These two missiles actually fire, and we all know how much I love projectiles. Uh, this Omega Supreme can actually power link with the Optimus Prime from Energon. Uh, I will be reviewing him sometime later in my series of reviews, and then I will do update reviews on how they can uh, actually link together, because if I were to try to show it all now, it would take forever. So, here we have Omega Supreme from Energon. Uh, the... Uh, cousin, if you will, of Gen 1 Omega Supreme. Uh, very much like this design. I like how he's kind of split in half in two massive vehicles. Uh, this side, of course, being the construction vehicle. This side, of course, being the battleship. And then how they can link together to form a giant um, giant vehicle-like thing. So, again, very cool. His link form with Optimus Prime from Energon Eh, not so much impressive. I mean, it's pretty much a picture of the little Optimus Prime head here instead of that. But uh, if you actually put on Optimus Prime from Energon's little vehicle components that he has, which I will, of course, be showing, uh, very cool, very cool. So here he is, Omega Supreme from Energon. So, again, uh, sorry about missing Saturday. We'll try to do better this week. Uh, this Wednesday, of course, hopefully another review. Uh, haven't really decided what I'm going to review yet, so if you have any suggestions, please tell me. Uh, I have a lot in my collection, so feel free to, you know. But you're also going to start doing some uh, Power Ranger reviews at some point, because I have a lot of the Zords as well. I have about just as many of the Zords as I do Transformers. So I thought to myself, well, if I have all these other robot Zord things, might as well give it a shot and do one of those. But we'll stick with Transformers for right now. So, this is Dave, Draco, 031978. Once again saying, if you don't send one a hug, hug a Transformer. Especially these big guys here, because they need all the love they can get. Alright, you have yourselves a good start of the week, and we'll see you soon.